I just love a company that continually innovates and improves on its products. And today I'm going to be talking about something called Only, spelled O N L I, made by Hollister. No, not the clothing company, but Hollister, the medical supply company who happens to make this really neat catheter. Now, a catheter is something that is uh, typically used to drain a person's bladder. This is a lengthy catheter that is longer than normal, than, than for a female catheter. And female catheter is much shorter. This is made for, for men, males. And this is a, a typical product that is used for guys who so whose bladders quit working. It could be from a congenital abnormality, or it could be from guys who have an enlarged prostate who wait and ignore his urinary problems and end up not being able to pee at all. The bladder is completely given out. So he ends up having to insert a catheter through the urethra to drain his bladder multiple times a day. Only by Hollister, this is one of these products that he can use to help drain his bladder. I do have some ladies who use this longer catheter for whatever reason, they prefer the longer catheter, but typically this is a catheter used to uh, help men drain his bladder. As always, if you're watching this live on YouTube or Facebook, feel free to leave any questions in the comments. And if you're watching this on replay, feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. And for those of you who don't know me, my name is John Lin. I'm a urologist here at Sunrise Urology in Gilbert, Arizona. Although I am a urologist, I'm not your urologist, so definitely consult with your physician with any questions that you may have regarding these catheters. Hopefully, you won't have to use these catheters, but you may know someone who needs to self-catheterize to drain his bladder. So these, this is a catheter made by Hollister, and there are a couple of, in general, a couple of different types of catheters. One is made of rubber, and the other is made by silicone. Some of the patients may be allergic to latex rubber. So this catheter is made by silicone, so you're no, you don't have to worry about latex allergy or rubber allergy, which is really, really cool. So th this company, Collister, is thinking in terms of how the consumer, how their typical avatar, their typical patient is going to be using their product. Because initially they came up with a packaging. I'm going to show you this catheter. So this packaging like this, and they made one where this there's, there's a loop right here. Uh, you have to hold on to this part and then you pull on this loop and it opens the side of the packaging. And then you have access to this particular catheter. So pretty good, right? But they are, I love these guys because they are constantly improving on their product, including the outside and the inside. For those of you who, do, who are interested, this is a pre-lubricated catheter, meaning it's pre-hydrated and ready to use. And there's not a lot of fluid in here once you open it up, so you're not going to stain your clothes or, or this, your surroundings. It's pre-lubricated. You don't have to find any water to get it to be very, very slick, if you will. There's a holder right here, so you can hold it here on the blue sleeve without you having to actually touch the catheter so you can maintain the sterility of this catheter. Now, if you notice, the color is kind of opaque in this older version of the only catheter, and the packaging, as you see here, opens from the side and requires you to, to use a two hands, one, one to hold this or somebody, something has to hold this while you pull on this round tab. And this is the entire packaging right here. Okay, so this is the improved version of the only Hollister catheter. Same, same small packaging, very low profile, but instead it now has a tab that you can hook on to something here on this end. And for those who, who may need to use this paraplegics or neurologically impaired or dexterity impaired, you hook this on something and then you can use one hand to open this and it kind of goes like that. So 
there's even a little area here that makes it more difficult for you to open all the way so you don't accidentally open it all the way if you don't want to open it all the way. You pick this up here, the same sheath sleeve right here, and if you notice the difference between the old version and the new version, the new version has a clear catheter, meaning you can look through it. If your urine is cloudy or if it looks unusual, you can see it through here, or obviously if it comes out, you can see it coming out at the end as well. But it makes it uh, so that you can see the urine as it is coming out of the catheter. Not only that, although, although you can't feel it, they made this catheter even slicker, meaning more lubricious. So I don't know, they improved the uh, product, the catheter itself, the, the composition of the product. They made it slicker, more hydrophilic, if you will, for those who are uh, technically inclined. So these come in sizes from 8 to, let's see, I believe 18 French. Eight to, no, I'm sorry, 8 to 16 French. There's no coude configuration. I hope they make one that is coude, meaning there's a there's an elbow at the very tip of the catheter to accommodate men with an enlarged prostate. So 8 to 16 French. This ergonomic uh, gripper is on both the old version and the new version. The packaging is easier to open on the new version. And you think, that's it? The catheter has a hole? That's the improvement? No, there's more. To make it easier to open, if you notice this white tab right here, you would tear off this sticky area and it is supposed to adhere to a surface so that you can use one finger to open up this area here. Now, my only gripe is that this is really, really small. And for those who have dexterity issues, this may not, uh, may be too difficult to, to pull off because the tab is really, really small. See how small that is? I try pulling it off with my teeth and it's difficult. They need to make this tab bigger or maybe make this, this bigger if they really want to make it very, very useful. That's the only recommendation that I have. And also when I pull this tab off, hmm, it's leaving some of the backing onto this packaging. So they may need to work on improving that if they really want to make this helpful. I don't think it's sticky enough to, to stick on a surface. Maybe it's sticky enough for you to hold on, to have it held somewhere while you get this hooked somewhere else, but it's, it's not sticky enough. It's not big enough. I'm not quite sure how they intend to use this. Maybe after you open it, it's supposed to stay open like that. I, I think that's probably the intent to peel this back so that it would stay open so you can use one hand to manipulate the catheter. If that's the intent, then you need to make this bigger so that it's easier to pull off and the user to uh, stick on to the packaging. So anyway, so I digress. Anyway, easy open, easy open package, self-adhering tab for the mobility impaired. And my only recommendation is to make that tab easier so that those who are mobility impaired can grab it either with their teeth or with their two fingers make it easy to come off and the, the backing should not be sticking to the to the, um, the the removable tab so anyway lastly for the offices that are using only by Hollister they made the box that contains these catheters smaller so a smaller footprint because as you all know real estate in the office storage is it's difficult to come by, so they made the box smaller so that you can... That's a smart business decision by Hollister. You can pack more of these catheters in your office or in your DME, uh, durable medical equipment supplier's uh, closet space. Anyway, for those of you with any questions about the catheters, feel free to leave them below. Thank you so much for the privilege of your time. Take care of each other and take care of yourself. Bye-bye.